Good morning, welcome to another vlog. I just got in this order that I got last week from Princess Polly. A lot of like neutral, pregnancy friendly um, clothing items. I wanted something for like summer, spring. I got these like boxer shorts. I think these are super cute. I love like a boxer look. I do need like a white top that goes with a lot of the stuff that I have right now. Just these simple white like biker style shorts. Um, They're kind of like a Sophie material. They're really soft. I got this green dress. I thought this would be really cute. I know it looks like a little short, but I think like during the summer and spring, it would be really cute with like boots or something like that. I also got this really beautiful, really soft with these like little pearl detailing go on the going along the bottom. This is super cute. I think like once I get a bump and stuff, this will be very comfortable, yet it will make me look like put together. <laughs> this collared cropped oversized knit sweater. This is gonna be great with like leggings or something like that. I loved these little sandals. These are perfect for spring, summer. They're very beachy, which I like. And then I picked up a few jewelry pieces. So I found this lock, this little locket necklace. I used to have one from Anna Luisa and I couldn't find it and they don't make it anymore. So um, this was like a relatively inexpensive one and it had like another one kind of like linked to it So you can like stack it, it looks really cute and this one was so pretty like look at the detailing here And then I found this bracelet. I really love this and it came with this one to kind of go with it. So Yeah, I love this is actually a romper. I forgot but it looks super cute I'm actually more of a romper girl than I am Dresses if I can like grow into this and I think it's super duper cute and this locket necklace. Wow I love. This is super cute. The necklace is just oof. And then we've got the bracelet. It looks really good. I'll link all this stuff down below. I have a discount code for Princess Polly that I used. It was actually my code a long, long time ago. I was surprised it still worked. So if it's like Renee, like love Renee or Renee 20 or something like that, but I'll pop it on the screen. I'll link everything down below and then put the promo code for you guys as well. I think it's like 20% off, but I like these purchases. I hate when I film and there's a camera or a mirror behind me because you can see how weird it looks to film on your own. So I'm gonna try to shimmy where you can't see me. Um, but I also picked up some stuff from Amazon, just more clothing stuff. It's always a hit or miss, and honestly, it's more of a miss for me when I'm shopping on Amazon, because I find them on like Instagram Reels, and they look better. Like that's the thing with Instagram Reels. It's like they're so short and sweet, and so like precisely edited that you have to take them with a grain of salt, you know? This one I just found on my own. I just typed in like pregnancy set. And I feel like I've had this. Like did I get this one last time? I don't even remember. But it's just like these biker shorts and like top. Where it's comfortable enough to be PJs. But I can still walk around and like go into the store and not feel like I'm in PJs if that makes sense. And then I found this little halter top. It has like a really cool back. Like a little crisscross sag situation. And I just wanted something like a little loose and comfortable. This is really soft. Wow. I wanted a pair of white leggings and I kind of splurged and went with aloe because I thought these were super duper cute. And aloe has like the best like loungewear stuff. I will say though, this came like the next day after I ordered like faster than Amazon, which was pretty nuts. They're the high waisted so I can grow into them again. I'm trying to find things that are gonna be pregnancy friendly, but I can probably still wear after. But what I liked about these, that it had the little logo here. These are gonna be really, really comfortable and soft for pregnancy, so kind of splurged a little bit. But that's my little clothing refresh, if you will. I've been so super nauseous this morning. And like, the past two days have been perfect. I'm like, I don't have nausea anymore. And then, bam, like moments like this and like, mornings like this it like all hits you again and i just know i'm probably gonna have it the whole day so i'm just trying to like snack on everything that i can to like keep up with it but i'm just not feeling it sorry i'm not feeling good so i just had my mom move our dresser over here because before it was like completely empty and just looked looked really weird and i did end up moving these two chairs that were in my office right here just for now i don't think they're gonna stay here but they just didn't fit in the office they were a little bit too big you guys were saying that and honestly i agree i like tried to like rearrange the office and make it look better but it just it was too big i don't know what i'm gonna do with these chairs yet but for now this will work i'm not like completely ready to do the bedroom like that's just not where my headspace is at i have bigger priorities um however i like to brainstorm and like i'm constantly just thinking and like shifting and brainstorming this is a really big space i think we're gonna have to do like 
piece by piece in this room it's not going to be like one weekend and done i did end up putting this vase here like if you guys remember we had this in our old apartment and i put the mirror here for now i think it'll work i don't know if i want it there completely like forever i don't know i like it there for now um i'm not a huge fan of this art print here but if you can visualize like maybe some shelving or something like that with like plants there's a picture i have on pinterest that i really like i'm pretty sure that's the picture that i got from my inspo for the board and batten wall which again i'm gonna do eventually like something up here but again not really top priority once we get our floors in um i would love to put a vanity here build it that's gonna be way down the line i'm not sure what to do here so i don't even know if we're gonna have chairs over here I kind of like the look of that, but that just means our little reading nook situation over here is going to be a little bit different. Like, I don't know what to do over here. I think I'll do like a reading, like bookshelves or something. I don't know. I don't know. And then this wall, I don't know. But like, if you look over here, it's just so big. And you know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, once we have the wood in here, like a rug would make the space look a little bit better. Like not as open. Like look how open. It just looks like very sparse because like you can't put anything in the middle of the room but if you put a rug i think that'll make it like look a little bit more cozy but again not like a complete top priority i think it's just going to be a very very slow progress in here but there's other things that i'm wanting to spend my money on right now it's hard because like obviously you drop like a ton of money on like a down payment when you buy a house and like people our age that's how you buy a house like it's so tough because even being privileged enough to be able to buy a house right now in this market at our age, it's like super rare. It's like you have to sacrifice, like you buy a house, but then like your house broke. <laughs> so like you gotta like just put it together very slowly. So I'm trying my best to like do things as slow as possible and not just like spend a ton of money, but there's just so much going on in my head and I can see it and I, I want it, you know, but I just need to learn to like, you know, play with it, visualize that's part of the fun, but not go like completely crazy. So I think like priorities right now are puppy and I think that's it right now. I think I'm just focusing on puppy right now. All right, I'm sitting here just daydreaming, but LL Flooring has this online AI thing where you can take a picture and they'll show you with what exact flooring you want, what your room would look like. And you guys like, oh, so good. I cannot wait. We're just daydreaming here, but look at the sunroom. All right, we're outside. I got these Omni backyard lights. Backyard lights and like lighting in general just makes it such a mood spring has been blossoming so much in our yard like we're starting to see some color there's a lot of pollen right now but i think that's not going to last like the whole season like once summer comes that it's just part of a season i'm sorry um oh my god that's so loud I think someone's doing like ATVing or something. We're in the country, okay? So yeah, lighting in general is just gonna make the backyard pop. Um, oh my God, worst timing, worst timing. But um, yeah, I we have to do like a whole backyard refresh, which I think I'm gonna film like right before summer. But for now, I think the lighting will do a lot for the backyard. Right now we have these lights up. There's like water in them. They're like kind of dirty. They're just not, they're just not it. These all knee lights are not only waterproof, but they're also shatterproof, which I really like. And they're really high quality. You can get them on Amazon. They also have like a website and they actually gave you guys a discount code. They sent this over. So I will link that down below, but it only works on the all knee website and it's 15% off. So if you're looking to refresh your outdoor space, these are the ST38 patio lights and we got the 120 foot um, outdoor lights so this is what they look like um i really like the style of bulb i think these are really nice and i like the dark electric wire because i think it makes it look more chic so i'm gonna see if z can come out here real quick and help me put these up <laughs> i just need my step oh i know what you could do like, this chair z this chair that tall chair right there yeah i'm gonna need scissors Whoa. Whoa. Can you reach it? No. <laughs> I thought you were tall. 
So we're gonna have to wait to either get a ladder or ask our neighbor if we can use their ladder and then we'll put them up, but that's pretty high up there, so and we're gonna have one, to- And there's one, two, three spots that are- Yeah, they're pretty tall. And Z's gotta work, so we'll figure that out here in a second. <laughs> So like I said, there's a 15% discount code in the description box um, if you guys want to shop the lights. I think they're a really great addition to the backyard. So I'll leave everything linked down below, but it is only available in the Omni store, um, but they do have Amazon too. So I'll leave both links down below. Huge shout out to them. Thank you for sending these. Dancing under the Omni light. There's a sunset. There's like a cottage, a cottage cheese. I almost said a cottage cheese guy. The cotton candy sky. Cotton candy. With these lights? Yeah. Reception's gonna be right there. It would be funny. You there have goes. never talked about the pregnancy. What do you think? Two boys. How wonderful. We don't know the gender yet. I'm pretty sure though. I was working when you told me. Yeah. Have you told the story already? Yeah, I did. Yeah. I didn't work much the rest of the day after that. No. Valentine's Day. And that, that morning I woke up on Valentine's Day and I looked at Bryce and said it wouldn't be so bad if he was a big brother. You think those things and you know, usually you plan out like months in ahead, you know, you're gonna have a kid and mm -hmm. Nope. Later that afternoon. <laughs> I don't think I've ever showed my baby bump, but bump update. See, I'm almost 13 weeks. This bump has been popping, like very fast. Happy Thursday. So I'm very excited because I saw that um, Publix had the Starbucks pink drink like pre-made. I love the pink drink. Really good. It's been like my go-to for such a long time now. Haven't tasted it yet, but I want to see if it tastes like the pink drink from Starbucks. It does. <laughs> I mean, there's no like strawberries, but that's really good. It's such a refreshing drink. It's like a tea and like coconut milk mix but um <clears throat> i have a quite a busy editing morning this morning and then i need to film something before i have a doctor's appointment at like 1 30. so this is just my regular doctor's appointment um not the like high risk one which is awesome so we can still hear the heart rate and everything we don't have to talk about anything scary <laughs> which is nice so i'm kind of looking forward to this one and maybe possibly doing that there's like a blood test or a test that you can do checks for things like health and stuff for the baby but also you can find out the gender so i think we're going to talk about that yeah i don't know how we're going to do that just yet but i i don't want to know like i want them to put it in an envelope or something and then we can figure it we can find out at home like with xander and stuff but i i can't wait until the end like i have no patience for that. I don't know how people do that. So I'm gonna get to editing this morning, filming, and then talk appointment. That's on the to-do list today. I just got back from such a great appointment, which is so, like night and day from my last appointment. Certain doctors that have like a coldness to them or they just don't listen. And I've like not had my fair share of doctor's visits. And especially with pregnancy, like I didn't really talk about this before, but before when I had Bryson, when things were like starting to go like really weird and wrong, they like wouldn't listen to me. And they like kept saying, 
who was like being anxious and like that's a mom and like making jokes about it and not really listening to me and acting as if I was kind of like a burden in a way like my mucus plug this is like TMI but my mucus plug had come out early I showed them a picture they're like oh it's fine I was like leaking amniotic fluid <laughs> I was bleeding like and they just would not they just kept pushing me off and like there was one doctor that literally made me feel so uncomfortable looked at me like I was just like an annoyance and he was like don't come in here again like and then clearly obviously I went into birth like I was correct and we had switched doctors like at that point so it is so refreshing to have a doctor who not only listens but is really gentle and like human <laughs> like I feel like a lot of doctors I think this is just because they're so smart or something I don't know like they're just very scientific logical people so it's like rare to me at least in my experience to find like a warm doctor and I found like my doctor and we locked him in he is going to be with us the whole rest of the time and the fact that he just like not only listened to me but like acted like I was a human being with feelings and emotions like I don't know I it was an amazing experience and like we listened to the baby's heart rate we didn't do like the ultrasound or anything like that I got my genetic test done so we'll know the gender here in a little bit all good things I had had that panic attack in the last vlog I think um when I went to my high risk doctor and did not have the best experience and I like parked at the spot had the panic attack like in the parking lot and so I saw that spot was open and I was like I'm gonna park here and I'm gonna make this a good experience and we're gonna clear the energy at that spot and it was like such a refreshing feeling to leave happy and like felt taken care of and it was nice to have like literally everyone in the office was so sweet like the lady who drew my blood was really nice I just got such good energy from everyone that I was like interacting with it was a beautiful hospital too so we had transferred hospitals because long story short but the one that I was going to was like a smaller hospital and it doesn't have a NICU and not that I'm like preparing for the worst but after going through that bout of like that birthing experience like I just want to be able to like It'll give me peace of mind to know that there's a NICU downstairs. So yeah, all good things. And like, it was just such a refreshing feeling to have like a nice 12 week appointment. I'm almost 13 weeks now at this point. And it just felt really, really good. So I think here, maybe in the next two or three vlogs, we'll figure out the gender. <gasps> Everyone's saying girl, everyone's saying girl. But I don't know, we still think it's a boy. I like, <laughs> what's weird is like, I knew Bryson was a boy. I just knew it. Xander knew it. And then we started thinking it was a... It. he was a girl and so we like completely just thought it was a girl and then obviously he was a boy so I'm like do I trust my intuition like right in the beginning we were like it's a boy but now I'm starting to have like is it a girl am I starting to feel like it's a girl so I don't know I don't know I don't know I can't wait though so we're gonna we're gonna find out here pretty shortly I'm really excited so last last call are you team boy team girl what do you think it's gonna be oh my god Do you hear that? The sound of peace and quiet. Woke up before everyone. Who am I? I just made myself some waffles. I have to like, just like pow down something in the morning. Like it specifically has to be a carb in order for me to feel decent in the morning. <laughs> Look how beautiful this room is in the morning. You can still see our, our lights are on, but I can't wait for this room. This is gonna be like a room that we do probably a little bit later to be honest because right now I'm going back and forth with prioritizing like kitchen floor. I think in order to do the floor down here we have to do the kitchen first. So I think that's something that I'm gonna like look into. I go back and forth every day. Honestly, you guys know I talk about it all the time. I'm just gonna have like a chill weekend. I don't want to put too much pressure on myself because we always have something to do on the weekends. But I want this weekend to be a little bit more just calm and relaxed. Bryson has his swim lessons this morning that we're going to go to. Oh, we need to get our pool stuff. So we had a pool guy come and talk to us a little bit about leveling the pH or like all the science behind the pool that he's going to be in charge of. Not me. I'm not a science gal. <laughs> so we just need to get this stuff for that because right now it's green. <laughs> so... Um, but I'm so excited to have a pool. I am so excited to have a pool. You have no idea. I didn't grow up with a pool. That was like for rich people. I was so jealous of people who had pools growing up. And like they would never use it. And I'm like, how are you not using it? You have a pool. I am a pool gal. I love the pool. I'm actually not much of a beach gal, even though I'm from Florida. I think like 
people who like beaches are more so tourists like i don't think a lot of floridians who were born and raised there go to the beach a lot because it's a lot right it gets messy um it's like a full day thing i just prefer the pool it's cleaner it's nice it's clean it's clean <laughs> did i mention it's clean <laughs> since becoming a mom like you really really appreciate these quiet moments just gonna sit here and listen to the birds and i feel the need to whisper even though i don't have to So we've now got a dog crate in our bedroom. Um, we did go to PetSmart and pick up a few things. These super cute like dog food bowls. Um, we used this with Nova um, and this was a really good like lead for her. Like it's a gentle lead. I don't know, with a big dog you have to really be careful with the way that you leash train. Nova was so strong and honestly she'd pull so much with me being pregnant and having Bryson and like being out in the country. Lots of like, you know, rabbits and stuff. It's important that she knows not to pull. And this just essentially takes their snout and stops the pulling because if she were to pull her, her snout would go this way. Um, so yeah, this works last time and we really liked it. So we got one of these. And we picked up, you know, some pet toys and poop bags. We got a pooper scooper this time since we have a yard. Now it is going to be a girl instead of a boy. We ended up getting a girl. I think it'll be better too with the kids because she'll be a little bit more nurturing and it won't be as big of a dog. I'm debating whether or not to tell you guys the name. So we actually found a name for her. We got her little name tag. We're going to be naming her... Aria. I like the nickname Ari. I think that's super cute and I think it's a really beautiful name. It'll be fun for Bryson too to grow up with a puppy. That's what we wanted, you know, originally is for Bryson to grow up with a dog. So he's not only getting his best friend coming soon, but he's getting another best friend and like I, we're just really excited. I asked Z on a date. So we are on our way to um, a place called Monster Mini Golf. I've seen this a couple times on Instagram and he doesn't know where we're going, but he's a big golfer. So I hope that this makes him happy. Monday. I'm actually filming another vlog for you guys today, but I didn't end the vlog. And I just wanted to end it by saying we've officially hit our second trimester, which is pretty crazy. I know that it's like kind of scary at the beginning of the first trimester. However, I had my bouts in the second trimester of last pregnancy, but I'm feeling pretty good. Like I don't feel any weird type of way. I'm feeling very confident about this pregnancy and so it's a big milestone hit second trimester and I feel like a lot of you know stress a little bit off my back but I'm still kind of like on high guard. But like I said it's just all good things, all positive energy. There's nothing really you can do with pregnancy so so far so good. Um we'll probably figure out the gender too here in the next week. This is so exciting. We're getting our puppy on Friday. It's like all exciting fun things so I appreciate you guys watching to the end of the video and being a part of this journey. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys all in a future very exciting video. Well bless your heart. Hey, go and protect your heart. Sit down, I'ma hold that line. Only know how to play my part. Say so when I make that mind. Hold on, take my time.